Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today you join me from Lackford Lakes and this is a reserve that I've not actually been to in about two years. So the last time I was here I was using a Panasonic Lumix G7 with a 45 to 175 mil telephoto lens. Now a couple of years on uh, things have moved on quite a bit. We've now got two cameras, the G80 and the G9 and the Leica 100-400 lens, so we've definitely moved on. Now the reason I'm here today is because I've spent so much time at RSPB Lakenheath and been completely unsuccessful at getting a shot of a Kingfisher just because there's there didn't appear to be any there at the moment. So a lot of people have recommended here and uh, yeah I think I'll just give it a go trying to get a Kingfisher. Now in a minute I'm filming on the Lumix G9 and I'm actually using the Vlog L upgrade, so using the Vlog L pitch profile. Although I'm only filming in 1080p and not 4K, we're still filming in 10 bit 422 and the dynamic range and the footage should just be really good. Time will tell though whether I'll regret using the G80 as the stills camera because obviously the autofocus just isn't as good on the G80 compared to the G9. Anyway, so far it's pretty quiet. Everything's in lockdown over the coronavirus. Um, the visitor center is actually closed, although the toilets are still open. Work that one out. But uh, yeah, seen about seven buzzards all circling overhead. There's numerous songbirds. I'm feeling it today. I'm really feeling this reserve. So hopefully we'll get our first shots of a kingfisher. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So a quick little update, I'm now in Bernard Tide and I've been here for a little while now. Now point to note, Bernard Tide at Lackford Lakes has now got a new system in place where from 5 till 9 in the morning and 5 till 9 of an evening you actually charge £10 to come in and use this hide for photography and there's on a normal day there's a one hour sort of restriction you're allowed to come in here for an hour and then not return within an hour so that's sort of a an idea of just how popular this is for the kingfisher photography sadly though for me i haven't seen a single kingfisher yet i'm actually filming on the g80 again now in cine like d just because i just couldn't risk seeing a kingfisher and not using the g9 but all the other shots were all, all in B-Log L, um, including all the shots of all the other birds I've managed to managed to video quite a few. And I've used two of my favorite kind of Lumix features, the in-camera time-lapse and the X-Tele function on the G9, the G80's also got it. And what that does 
is means you get an extra crop in your videos. So basically my 100-400 lens, which already is like a 200 to 800 and full frame, um, it's now a 800mm or a 1600mm equivalent when I'm using the X-Tele. Um, and because 4K only needs about 8 megapixels, I think it is, I'm filming in 1080, so I've got you're basically cropping the sensor and not losing any quality with your video. Although to be fair, I do need to look at getting an ND filter for this lens, just because I'm having to stop down um, the aperture so much, just to sort of decrease the amount of light coming in when I'm filming. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful scenery. Lovely, lovely reserve. Um, no kingfishers. I know there's another photographer just popped down to Paul's Hide because that's apparently another good place for kingfishers. So I'm going to spend, it's half 12 now, I'm going to spend another half an hour here and then probably pop down to Paul's Hide and see if I'm going to have any success with these kingfishers because so far I've got cold and that's about it. So I'm now in Winter Hide and I'm here because I just took a trip down to, is it Paul's Hide? And it is, the wind has really picked up, the light is dreadful, and there was absolutely no chance any Kingfisher was going to perch outside of Paul's Hide, just because of the terrible sort of wind, the perches are blowing all over the place. So this Kingfisher hunt is, it's not really working out too well, not working out too well at all. Now, sort of leaving myself open to two choices. At the end of the day, I've got no steals pretty much for this video, which isn't really ideal. I still haven't got a kingfisher, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful reserve. I don't know whether to sort of take a trip in and have a look at some of the songbirds. A nice chap at the car park actually gave me a bag of seed. So I should be able to sort of tempt a few of the sort of songbirds out and apparently there's some voles down there as well. So do I do that or do I just stubbornly try and persist with these kingfishers? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. So after a few hours of spending time in multiple hides, I've basically given up on my quest for the kingfishers today. But just behind me, just here, are two little robins that I basically took a couple of photographs of, but the light, as you can tell, is absolutely dreadful and it's just not photography time. But <laughs> Can you, oh, I can't even talk now, but um, a chap in the car park actually gave me a bit of bird seed and I did the whole hand out and the robin flew into my hand and took the seed. That's the first time I've ever done that in my whole life. That's the first time I've ever had a robin in my hand. So that's really, really cool. Um, a chap just came into the hides a second ago and said that there's numerous little songbirds around and there's actually voles as well. So before I go home, I'm going to check out that area and see what the score is there. But yeah, the light is dreadful, there's no kingfishers, and I think I'm just going to cut my losses and just do a bit more exploring. So I'm now back to pretty much where I started off, I'm now at Bernard Tide, after a very unsuccessful day at attempting to photograph kingfisher. I've only even seen one do a fly past much less get any photos, so not ideal. I got a few sort of average shots at the, almost like a little photography station where people have put food out and there were some squirrels and also a pheasant. But yeah, six hours that I've been here for and no kingfisher shots. I know it's wildlife photography, I know that you shouldn't really have any expectations, but with everything that's going on in the world, I think 
it's really just put a, I'm really on a downer at the minute. Now, as you well know, um, the kids are going off school for potentially about six months. That's going to have a massive, massive impact on my wildlife photography, and it's going to impact everyone's lives as a whole. Just for example, when I'm not working, I will be looking after a child. That's absolutely fine. I love my son, but um, in 36 years, I've never known children to be off school. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a massive challenge, and as a non-professional wildlife photographer, it's going to be really, really difficult this year. And this was the year I've got most of the gear now, and uh, I was really kind of hoping that this would be the year. And I think that's really playing on my mind today more than anything else. So yeah, um, what can I say? Um, one positive today though is that the sort of testing the G9 with the vlog upgrade has been really really good hopefully you've enjoyed the we've well, certainly not enjoyed the kingfisher shots but hopefully you've enjoyed the visuals and the actual video itself the look of it um, what it has taught me though is that I possibly need to now look at replacing the G80 with potentially a GH5 or even a GH5S perhaps even another G9 because I absolutely love taking shots on the G9 I love filming on it as well so the G80 I, I just don't like using it anymore so yeah first world problems um, so yeah anyway if you've enjoyed this video for some reason please hit it with a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel please consider doing so although I don't know how many videos I'm going to be able to make. Probably a lot of indoor ones. Oh yeah, but my uh, YouTube studio's <laughs> um, been taken over. So yeah, bit of a down video. Sailor V, this is wildlife photography, this is life. And I will definitely see you on the next one. Take care. Mm -hmm.